When did you first become interested in learning as either a natural phenomenon or a computational one? I was interested in cognition. That cognition is such a powerful f- phenomenon in the world that it uh, had, to ha- had to have a theory. It couldn't just be some, some heuristic. It's such a reliable uh, uh, f- phenomenon. And uh, so there are many ways of asking questions, but one idea I remember having is that if one uh, looked at the conference proceedings of an AI conference at the time, there were these various topics, you know, planning, search, uh, reasoning, whatever, <laughs> machine learning, um, then I, I thought that, you know, I mean, all these things have meaning, but it's unlikely that all of them are the fundamental theoretical building blocks of AI. So the question is, which of these is fundamental? And I think uh, when I asked that question, I think it became obvious to me that it, it was learning. And what, what did the field of machine learning look like from your perspective at roughly that time? Um, well, I think I was uh, um, so thinking of the problem more broadly as, as cognition rather than uh, um, machine learning. And so theories of Newell and Simon were quite dominant. And so learning was part of, of their theory, but for them learning was not statistical at all. There was no generalization in the sense we understand it today. It was uh, learning more meant that uh, you, you get some experience, and the next time you came across the same problem, you'd, you, can, you compile your previous experience and, and, so and, and do it. something closer to road learning? Yeah, yeah but, but doing it better next time, op, yeah. opti- some sort of optimization. I see. Um, that you, so you use reasoning to understand why something worked last time, and... and uh, do it differently this time, but it was uh, compiling knowledge, um, and so this field called explanation-based learning, where you uh, try to find explanations of. Uh, um, so, uh, so for so this is what AI looked like for me. So I was interested in learning. Um, so I, I did um, so from undergraduate days. I'd, I think I did eight lectures on statistical inference once. And uh, so our first question was, you know, statisticians talk about inference, so that must be something to do with this. But it's clearly not an explanation of cognition, because if it were, we'd know about it by now. <laughs> um, so, um, so I think more technically how I phrased the question was, why isn't statistics enough? Um, and uh, so I so kind of, and I, I read some stuff, and the kind of stuff I read were, People think about probability and cognition. Um, so I read this book on property theory by uh, John Maynard Keynes, of course, he was an economist, but he also wrote an interesting book on probability in his younger days, um, which again had some cognitive influences of people trying to find out properties of why you believe in things. And also, so Carnap, uh, well, the philosopher, had a more probabilistic reasoning kind of explanation of cognition. Um, and uh, so, so the thought came that well, what's missing in these is is any kind of quantitative explanation why you know why there's you know when do you have enough data when do you have enough computation to to do what you do and this I thought clearly this is where computer science and complexity theory has something to offer.